Hi, and welcome to this Thinkbox Deadline tutorial covering the various options you have to manipulate the frame list of your job in Deadline, either as part of the submission process via an event plugin such as On Job Submitted, or post submission either via our APIs or in the monitor user interface. Okay, let's dive headfirst into frame list formatting and see what we can do. Individual frames can be specified as a single integer, a comma separated list of integers, or separated via a space character. A frame range can be specified by either using the hyphen or colon character. To specify a sequence with a step value in it, you have a number of choices for what can be used as the step character here. Possible options are the x and colon characters, or the words step, by, or every. Here are some examples of how each of those options would look like in the frame list. Now, to specify a frame sequence in reverse, we simply swap the frame range around. So here we enter 100 hyphen 1, or alternatively 100 colon 1. To specify a frame sequence in reverse with a step, we simply add one of the optional step characters or words to the end, combined with the actual step integer value. So here in our example, we want to render a reverse sequence starting at frame 100, finishing at frame 1, and render every fifth frame. Finally, an important rule to remember is that individual frames are never repeated in a deadline job. So declaring a frame list of 5, 5, 5 will not render frame 5 a total of three times, but rather just once. Now, armed with this rule, we can now get quite creative with the advanced frame lists. You can render individual and sequences of frames in the same job in deadline, such as frames 5 and 18, followed by the frame sequence of 28 to 100. Now, in the next few examples, I'm going to standardise on using the X as my step character and hyphen as my range separator. It's recommended as a good idea to also choose a standard to adhere to in your studio pipeline as well, just for consistency. To render every fifth frame and then fill in the rest of the frames afterwards, you would type 1 hyphen 100 X5, comma 1 hyphen 100. Now, to render every tenth, then every fifth, and then every second, and finally fill in the rest, you would type 1 hyphen 100 x10, comma, 1 hyphen 100 x5, comma, 1 hyphen 100 x2, comma, and then finally 1 hyphen 100 for the filler in frames. Finally, as a really complicated example, you can render in a mix of forward and reverse uh, by different step counts and then fill in the rest. And here's how that might look for a frame sequence of 1 to 100 frames intermix in both forward and reverse mode in different step counts. Okay, so let's see how all this works in the monitor after a job has been submitted as an example. Individual frames can be specified as a comma separated list of integers. A frame range can also be specified by using the hyphen character. Or can be specified by using the colon character. Here we specify a sequence with a step of five using the X character. Now let's do the same thing, but using the colon character to control the step value. Alternatively, we can use the word step here as well. Or use the word by. We can also use the colon character both as the frame range separator and also as the step value here. To reverse a sequence, we type it in backwards, here using the hyphen character as the separator.
or we can use the colon character instead. The nth system also works with reverse frame sequences. Here we use a step of 5 followed by the x character. Or we can use the colon character instead. We can intermix single frames and a frame sequence as shown. Knowing that the same frame can't be repeated in a deadline job, we can submit every fifth frame followed by the filler in frames. We can get more complicated by rendering every tenth, every fifth, and finally the filler in frames. We can also render in a mix of forward and reverse by different step counts for each and then fill in the rest. Now, bear in mind that everything shown here is also applicable in the frame list field during user submission in one of our submitters or via an event plugin or via our APIs. So to finish, please do read our user documentation, which provides information on this feature and many others in deadline. Thanks for watching.